Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris here again with Aquarium Conversations. Back here again and just want to show you guys an updated look at my Magitarium 6.8 gallon frameless aquarium. Last time you saw this tank I had just escaped it. <clears throat> you know, quickly I'll talk about some of the plants I've got in here. i got a bunch of crypts, got some, you know, some, uh, hold on. Got some Crips down here. Got some Crips Boralis in the back. Got some Nubius that I stuck in the Bronx. Got some Ludwigia. Oh boy. Ludwigia? Ludwigia. If I say it real fast, it sounds like Ludwigia. So we'll call it what it is Ludwigia. Uh, if you guys remember this tank, when I set it up, um, I got you know a sand substrate, but below that, I've got some potting soil. Which I think has really helped the growth. Filtration. I've got the uh, the filter that comes with it. I've got an internal filter there. Um, maybe I went a little overboard with the filtration, but I'm okay with that. I've even got a, if you guys can look back in that compartment back here, I built a little pump there just to keep, you know, the, the water moving there. A lot of times with these... Uh, all-in-one kind of kit containers or, or kit uh, aquariums you know a lot of times you'll get stagnant water in the back so I put a little pump back there just to keep that water moving and really have had no issues with water quality got a little bit you know of hair algae here I think the lights are doing a really really good job with helping with growth maybe even too good a job you know i'm not overfeeding this tank uh you know i have a beta in here which you guys can see right there and i've got some neons back over here in the corner that are a little camera shy i don't you know i don't feed this tank a lot <clears throat> excuse me um but you know still kind of getting over that original kind of crip melt kind of thing that you guys have heard me talk about before where the crips need time to essentially acclimate to the water and being submerged um but i think a lot of these plants especially the you know these bigger crips back here and the spiralis maybe you know when i when i transplanted them had a little bit of hair hair algae on them so that's kind of what i'm dealing with now you can see here and back there but all in all uh really really happy with the tank i love the growth that i've gotten so far can't wait to see what uh what happens next i will probably clip these stems right here of the Ludwigia and propagate them or replant them and really encourage new growth uh again like i said the water quality has been pretty good do water changes weekly here and i may take out you know maybe to about here maybe 25 percent 30 percent and then replace it with uh fresh water but um really just a quick update on this tank you know i've i've uh set this tank up man i had it as fresh water i had it as salt water but i think you know this kind of heavily planted lightly stocked tank is probably my uh my, my favorite uh rendition or favorite variant of of this particular tank and really excited to see what happens when it grows in you guys uh who saw me when that when i set it up uh you know my goal was to have that kind of really impactful growth and sort of uh you know jungle look if you will you know so a lot of the crypts that are in here there's a lot of new growth going on here so i'm really excited to see what happens with those uh you know a lot of you know still a lot of a lot of new growth going on so this back area is filled in pretty good and like i said i'm going to cut these stems here replant them and we'll see what kind of growth we get out of those but the light's doing well the fish are doing well uh don't have too many issues like i said uh just the small ones that i pointed out as far as algae and hair algae things like that but all in all things are going as planned for this particular tank so again just a quick video let me know what you guys think any questions or comments leave them down below and as always talk to you guys down the road bye